So thank goodness for that. All right. Hours away from the end of the world, the TC4. I don't know if you guys had an opportunity to see the charts that I shared recently. The TC4 charts. Are we live here? Let's see. Where are we? Make sure this is all going as planned. Dang it. Losing my place here. Well, it says we're live, so I'll just assume that we are. Hope you can hear me. We have audio now. <laughs> all right, just one moment. One moment. I have to make sure everything's working here. Okay, yes. Moments away from the end of the world. Now I can see what's going on here. This TC4 asteroid that is, there's projections, there's orbits, there's charts showing that it's going to be as close to 3,400 miles and as far out as 27,000 miles. Now, the question is, if it's going to be similar to the Russian meteor that recently, you know, a few years ago, exploded and had as much power as a nuclear bomb. Many people were injured. Many buildings were damaged. Well, let me just kind of go over something with you real quick. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. You know, it's great. It starts with an earthquake, birds and snakes, an airplane. But Lenny Bruce is not afraid. I have a hurricane. Listen to yourself churn. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Team by team, reporters baffled. Trump tethered. Crop. <laughs> oh, man, what a great synchronicity. The REM lyrics. It's the end of the world as we know it. Team by team, reporters baffled. Trump tethered. Crop. That's interesting that Trump is in the song REM lyrics in the world. Oh, it's just a, a coincidence. But it happens at 6 o'clock, TV hour. Don't get caught in the foreign tower. Slash and burn. Return. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. So, all right. Now that we've had an opportunity to get prepared, so we're going to start right now. I'm going to share with you the charts, what we have an opportunity how close it's going to be, what the Goldstone radar observations planning is showing us. Pretty interesting. So it's going to get pretty close, you guys. And I'm telling you, it parallels the parallels right now with the Salvation Series, where there's an ELE, an NEO asteroid that is going to hit the East Coast unless the military can stop it. And they also have an arc that's created. They have an arc that's created just in case so the elite can make it through. So thank goodness. I've got to say thank goodness for this stuff. This colostrum is off the hook. It's organic. I get it from Get the Tea. You should definitely check it out. I mean, a lot of people are like, Rex, how do you get so much energy? Well, try this stuff out. It's organic. It's amazing. So just a little bit. Just a little bit. So what you do is you take a teaspoon, right? Just... Just a little teaspoon, and you mix it in right in here. You mix it in, just you know, just for a second. Just mix it up. This stuff tastes like chocolate. You can also get vanilla if you want. It's your choice. I think that they both taste great. All I do is just mix it up for a second, right? That's how I grew so much hair so quick, too. I mean, I drank the colostrum. If you're looking for hair growth, instant, very fast hair growth. I'm joking. It doesn't make your hair grow. That was a joke. I was totally joking. It's a joke. Or was it? Mm. Love this stuff. All right, so radiation detector on. We're going to turn this on right now. EMF detector. We're going to turn this bad boy on and make sure that we don't get harped while we're doing this presentation. I was getting harped earlier. It's pretty exciting. So, all right, now I'm going to share with you the interesting stuff. This is right here. This is the Goldstone Radar Observations Planning 2012, the TC4, hours away from the end of the world. Hours away from the end of the world. What do you think about that? Well, according to the Goldstone Radar Observations Planning, we're going to be okay. Nothing to worry about. You can just watch your regular programming. 
turn on the tell i vision make sure to turn on leak project as well and you can see right here you know scroll down this is the first chart that we're going to look at oh my goodness how come they're not showing what the earth really looks like it's supposed to be flat joking all right so you can see right here this is the first ground track for 2012 the tc4 covering several hours now here's where it gets interesting I want to share this with you for those of you that are just joining us. Thank you for being here. And yeah, it looks like we've got Jeff in the house. Awesome. Good to see you, Jeff. No, this isn't cat's milk. Um, this is, it's from cows, man. It's, and it's organic, organic cows. So good. I'm telling you, I love this stuff. You, until you try it, don't knock it until you try it. Hello. Just like this guy says, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. But we're going to go back here to this. I mean, why so serious, right? I mean, if it's the end of the world in 36 hours, might as well have a little bit of fun until then. But you can see right here, if you'll just look at it, we're going to scroll down to this one now. This is a pretty exciting orbit right here. This is a pretty exciting orbit. We're going to take it back. Na -na 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 -na. Right here. Let's go. Starting. And as it's going, I'm just going to give you an opportunity to look at it for a minute. It's it pretty close right there. Donut, donut. Where is it? Where is it? What's it going to do? You know what's interesting? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I was going to. Boom! That looks pretty dang close right there. Did you see that? Did you just see that? That was pretty close. Now, there was an article that came out that said it's going to be so close, if it doesn't hit the Earth, it might hit the moon. It is going to be anywhere from 3,400 miles to 27,000 miles away, so they say. The question is, if they attempt to divert it a little bit, just move it, you know, they, they move it a little bit. By moving it a little bit, they're using a planetary defense system they're testing out. And it reminds me of the Genesis rocket the Genesis rocket that is shown in the series Salvation that doesn't work, but they sell it as it's going to work. They don't want the public to know about it. I like the time, Friday the 13th, and I have family that was born on Friday the 13th. That's an awesome birthday. I mean, if that's your birthday, that's very cool. I think that Friday the 13th is a, you can look at it as a lucky or unlucky number. I think it's definitely a, a lucky number. And also, let's just, you know, let's, let's watch this one more time because I want to get your opinion. Does that get pretty close to you? Long way away. All right, let's start back from the very beginning. I've got several of these I'm going to share with you. And this is directly from NASA.gov, JPL, the ones that love us so much. Woohoo! It looks like it changes colors, too, as it gets closer. It's like, you know, just a little, little sliver, little sliver, no big deal. They're saying it's anywhere from 50 to 100 feet in mass and then there's people that have said it's a lot larger but i haven't seen any Whew, that's close see that man all right so let's go to the next one now you can see here this one they they zipped it right down a little zipper there zipper action all right so this is the one this is the okay dang it i did it again so officially they're saying that they're going to lose track of it this goldstone this 2012 TC4, the detectable gold, it's detectable from this Goldstone radar, this high powered radar system, very high end, expensive, powerful. It's detectable from October 9th through the 16th, but not at the moment of its closest approach. That's the part that I wanted to share with you at the beginning. And I totally spaced it, and I think that's one of the most important. They're, they're telling us without, are they, are they telling us without telling us? Are they telling us without telling us? That, well, you know, we can't see it at its closest point. Hmm. That, to me, sounds like it's giving them a window of opportunity to be like, well, you know, we didn't see it, so it hit, but we couldn't see it anyway. Maybe they can't see it. Maybe this specific um, system can't. The question is, if this one can't, which one can? And how many are they? How many different systems are there seeing this and they're not telling us about it? That is the question. And also, 
Let's see here. What would you... I'm thinking while you're here, ladies and gentlemen, if we get a big enough crowd to join us, then maybe we should call up Marshmallow Man again. And just in case, you know, he's... I don't know what, he's probably bored now anyway. He's probably pretty bored, so we could set him up because he's been hanging out on the East Coast for a while, just really doing nothing, you know, just getting a tan, just relaxing. He's probably getting... He's probably ready to go somewhere else. So why don't we send him out to um, out there to, to intercept the TC4? So that way, just in case this planetary defense system fails, you know, we've got colostrum mixed with marshmallow man mixed with all of your great energy. I think we, we can keep this thing nanu, nanu, away. So here we go. Watch this. Just take a look at it. Here we go. Put your seatbelt on. And if you're scared easily, I would recommend going back to watching Jetsons, Flintstones, very fun cartoons, although they're kind of scary for people too sometimes. So maybe you just shouldn't watch TV. Maybe you should just... Never mind. Here we go. Okay, so it doesn't hit the Earth. I don't see it hitting the moon. Yet what type of planetary defense system are they actually using? They're like, well, we're testing the new planetary defense system oh man colostrums for energy matter of fact a lot of athletes a lot of uh people that are high level sports use colostrum this stuff's good for digestive uh health but it's also really good for energy so yeah i mean at least it is for me and for many athletes and many people that are at the top levels in sports and yeah so somebody just asked me that question but didn't mean to divagate there so let's watch this again. And what type of planetary defense system are they using? Are they using like some type of a, <laughs> are they using some type of nuclear technology? Are they using some type of gravity flux technology? Are they using some type of frequency tech? Are they using something that's going to heat it up? Wouldn't they be able to, what if they could get something to actually attach to it? And thrust it just, you know, as we talked about earlier, wouldn't this be a great way to eliminate the North Korea threat. I mean, what if the asteroid just landed directly on Kim Jong-un? So, very interesting, right? Now, at the size, you know, if it could make it through the atmosphere and be it about the size of what blew up over Russia, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it until I listen to the pronunciation several times, then I still probably won't attempt to pronounce it. But it had a serious yield. It was very powerful. So maybe there's an Illuminati card that shows this comet actually hitting Kim Jong-un's secret hideout location via frequency manipulation. How cool is that? All right, so let's watch this one now. Here you go. This one has a multitude of satellites as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing how quick your hair grows right? It's just unbelievable. So look at this. We just look at it. There it goes. Whew, man, that's a close shave. You can see all those different satellites that supposedly don't exist. I don't know how GPS works. I don't know how all that stuff works. It's all just like magic. So it's all demonic because it's all magic, right? Anyway, there you go. Solution 22 and 26 animations, which reminds me, have you guys heard have you guys heard of, what is it called? Solution 23 or Solution 3? I'll have to look into that some more. It is where the powers that be think the only way to keep the continuation of life is to expand to different planets. It's very interesting. So they, they gathered a bunch of very intelligent people at one point. And in different fields, put them in a spaceship and send them off into space to colonize space. I wonder if the military has different technologies that they're not sharing with us. Well, in, in the realms of spaceship type transportation, maybe that's why much of the chemtrails oftentimes take place where they try to hide things because they're doing stuff on the moon. Do you think that they could be Maybe mining the moon right now. Think about, let's, let's go into deep thoughts here for a minute. Let's go into the conspiracy realms for a minute, the woo-woo, while we're at it. Why not? You're here. You might as well just go with it. 
So, I mean, we've only got, a, you know, we're hours left anyway. Hours to go until the end of the world. So, Ingo Swan, what do you think about Ingo Swan and the research that he did and the RV, how good he was at RV, remote viewing? He was one of the uh, pioneers. And the book that he wrote where he talked about how some men in black essentially took him into an underground base. They had him remote view the moon and he was remote viewing naked humanoids in a green mist mining the moon. Very bizarre. So disinformation, there's no such thing as the moon. It's just a fragment of our imagination. And yep, GPS, it's just magic. It's demonic. It's evil. So here we go. And that pretty much does it for this episode. Just a quick update. Thank you for being here and have a beautiful day. Question everything and be the change you want to see.